It's well known that chemotherapy agents, um, many antineoplastic agents, no matter the route that they're administered, are hazardous to the healthcare workers who handle them. So that includes nurses and pharmacists. But there's also um, concern for other employees who work in the area where these drugs are administered or prepared who are also at risk for exposure. And the drugs are very good for the patients who need them to treat cancer. Um, and other serious diseases, but for healthcare workers, there's no benefit to their exposure. The risk benefit ratio is certainly um, you know, not in their favor. So there have been recommendations since the late 70s, before many nurses who were even working in oncology now were born, about safety and uh, trying to prevent exposure for those workers. And OSHA came out with guidelines in 1986 and the ONS and the pharmacy organizations also have safe handling guidelines. Um, but over the years, it was thought that the exposure was no longer a problem when recommended interventions were put in place. And yet, as the years went by, there's indications that workers are still being exposed. And so there needs to be emphasis on compliance or adherence to the guidelines that are recommended to minimize their exposure in the workplace.